they're off. Most over seven furlongs uh, for this Potemps Network Spring Trophy. And as they get going, uh, Ross Curlin in the orange sleeves, one of the best turned out award and gets through to lead him early on. Previous winner, Safe Voyage, on the left in the maroon colours, is in close attendance. Misty Gray behind these, runs in third place. He's around the outside, a fellow outsider, Royal Commando, a neck behind in fourth. The one mare in the lineup, Bounce the Blues, is next, and the odds on favourite Aldari in the blue and white colours is the back marker of the sextet as they make their way round the turn and into the home straight. So down towards the final half mile, Jason Watson on Ross Collin leading over length ahead. Safe Voyage, Jason Hart running in second, and then Royal Commando and Kieran Schumacher as they approach the halfway stage in company with Pierre Louis Germain on Misty Gray. David Probert bringing Bounce the Blues, three off the running rail to make a challenge, Aldari, Jim. Jim Crowley is switching uh, more towards the centre in the blue and white and also begins to make progress towards the leaders. Two furlongs to go. Ross Collins still has the lead to bounce the blues. Between those is Misty Gray. Aldari towards the left encouraged the long to get closer. Royal Commander and Safe Boy just next. Now bounce the blues takes it up. Aldari in the blue is out after her though. Ross Collins behind those and then Misty Gray inside the final furlong. Aldari has swept through to the lead with Jim Crowley who is just riding him out hands and heels. The odds on favourite Aldari will collect in good style. Comes clear to win. Bounce the Blues in second. Maybe just Misty Gray over Royal Commando in third and fourth. Aldari's won this season reappearance. That was a smooth performance, Jim Crowley. Yes, it was. Obviously, look, he was entitled to on the ratings, but um, I think key to this horse, he has to have cut in the ground. And when he gets it, he's a, he's a fair horse. Yeah. So that's very important. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, the only time he's really disappointed on good to firm. Um, you know, he won two big handicaps last year. And like I said, hopefully he can progress into, into group company. Nice for all these top class group one races that ground, if you've got quick ground, by Eid, if not, he'd be a nice little sub. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, he had an entry in the lock engine. Yeah. I suppose if he came up very, very testing, uh, as they were thinking of that, yeah. you know, but obviously later on in the season, um, when he gets his ground conditions, hopefully there's a big one in him. Good stuff, well done. Thank you.